<laughs> I don't know. It just makes me smile. On top of that, Omega is now armed and dangerous. We now see her with the arrow thing that she had. Uh, that's not from the Death Marion uh, witches, but it's still cool. I'm curious if it can shoot nets like we saw earlier, or if it's just blaster bolts. But um, yeah, yeah, I'm I'm excited because Omega is no longer helpless. Uh, so we can really get interesting with the storytelling. And of course, we get our big cameo moment. Uh, we get Bib Fortuna in the house. Uh, I was always terrified of this guy as a little kid. But look at him. I mean, this is before he uh, gains the post job of weight. But I don't know. He's always freaked me out. You can barely even tell that he's Twi'lek. Uh, not, not, not a fan. Not a fan. Of course, in the episode, they find out who the bounty hunter is that is chasing them. Of course, we know it's Fennec Shand, um, and we'll have to wait and see how this kind of shakes out. But, you know, their their contact here, Sid, uh, also alludes to the fact that, who knows, maybe she could turn them in. They're finding out that in this galaxy, there's no one that they can trust but each other. So that's going to be interesting going forward. Now, overall, I am not hooked on the show yet like it hasn't got its hook yet it's set up all the pieces it's set up you know the background on all the characters but we haven't made them interact in a way that's really hooked me and that's the part that i'm having a, a difficulty with now this is not uncommon for star wars shows a lot of them actually do have kind of slow starts uh this is definitely some progress i really feel like next week we really could drop that hook but in my opinion what we need to do is get all of the players moving right we know the caminoans have beef with the empire we know that um crosshairs at some point needs to come hunt the bad batch we need to find out who hired fennec shand i do believe it was the caminoans uh because they need you know, they're only after Omega and they need Omega alive. And so I believe that they try to help her escape to keep her away from the Empire. But they still want her back to do their own stuff um, on the down low. But we'll have to see. You have Fana Shan that's chasing them, but they will have to become mercenaries in order to survive. Uh, we have they still have their chips and you know wreckers headaches and things we don't know if it's going to activate uh, but tech is still working on something in order to be able to identify that uh, i feel like that's why they're going to have to run into rex at some point because i think that wrecker is going to turn he's going to have his activated they're going to have to fight and subdue him and then find rex in order to remove the chip we might find out something about Wolf and Gregor at that point. At least I hope so. But, you know, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, again, I'm waiting for all of these things and factions that we've set up to be in motion and to start that conflict. I think that's the hook that we're all kind of waiting for. Um, the very first episode was uh, was amazing. I loved it. But we haven't really had that same level of a catalyst in the show. That doesn't mean I'm going to stop watching it. doesn't mean I'm not enjoying it. But uh, I think we, we do need a little bit more. But I feel very certain that it's coming. Anyways, those are my thoughts on the Bad Batch episode number five. If you like my content, please, you know, like it. Um, drop a comment. Subscribe to the channel. And, you know, on to the next one. May the force be with you.